Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial and today it's on the BLEP Fishing plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to improve fishing on your Minecraft server with tournaments, loads of different fish that you can sell, other items and it's just a really well made plugin that adds a ton of depth into it. So I'm trying to catch a fish at the moment and I'm not particularly good at fishing in Minecraft. So let's see if we can actually catch something. And there we go, I have caught a perch and it's rank number one worth 51 bucks and it's 14 pounds and 32 ounces. Now if we have a look over here, you can see there are leaderboard signs. So you can see who has caught the biggest fish and how rare it was. So there's a ton of different fish. So if we do forward slash BF and jump into this, we can have a look at this GUI. Now currently there's no tournaments running, but we could set one up. There's a couple of other items that are coming soon, but here are the commands. So if we do the forward slash BF admin command, this is pretty handy, it allows us to look at a few things. So if we want, we can create a tournament, we can view the different rarities, so it depends on the weight and the color code and then the price modification based on that rarity. If we go back, we can look at the fish types and there is a ton of fish with min and max sizes. Some have base prices and you can obviously edit any of this if you wanted to. And then edit config. Now, if we click this and then click in chat, this will open a web panel. Now, if you really wanted to, you can import and then download any edits you made to this and then put it back in your server. So back in game, there's a couple more items. So one thing you can make is a small bag of fish. So if we right click this, you see there's up to 28 fish that can be stored in here. So I've got some perch, some armored catfish, bluegill, and I could just click them to store them in here. Or if I want to bring them back, I can do that as well. Now sometimes you get junk when fishing and this is an example, this is a letter in a bottle so when you right click the bottle you get a crumpled up letter and this one says where has all the rum gone or why is all the rum gone? Very good question from the great Captain Jack Sparrow. Now if we want to craft this small bag of fish we can go into a crafting bench we need three pieces of string and then two bits of leather and then any fish that you want. So I'm going to grab a perch as I have three of them and that will give you a small bag of fish and then now we have two of them. Now if we want to create one of these signs what we can do is brackets BF on the top line then the second line is going to be the fish type and then the leaderboard number on the third line and it says cod is not available because I have not caught a piece of cod yet. So what we can do is BF spawn a piece of fish and then we can actually cheat and find a bit of cod here. So cod hit enter and suddenly I am on the leaderboard and then we can do the same thing for treasure we can see the different types of things we can get so message in the bottle uh, we know we have got that and you'll get a random letter in this case it's the same one I had before how do we start a tournament if we do BF tournament and then we want to start one currently there are two but you could make more if you wanted to and we're gonna go for a bluegill bonanza hit enter on that and up at the top you can see it lasts for four hours and it shows when it will be completed and then what we can do is spawn some bluegills to get ourselves onto the leaderboard so let's find some bluegills down here now if we end it now so bf tournament finish and then bluegill bonanza you can see that we are number one so we reached a thousand dollars and we also got a diamond for participating so that's the sort of thing you can do and hopefully you'll do it legitimately instead of cheating like i did so here we are on the SMP control panel and as you can see there's a few files so in the messages this is just what you could change what people see in chat you don't obviously have to change this and then tournaments in here you can make new tournaments so we've got the bluegill bonanza and it's over an hour and then you've got the duration, the cooldown, start delay, the fish type, announce the winner. Then we've got the rewards for first, second and third, the min and max uh, players and the days that it will run on. So in this case, the Monday fun day will run on Monday. It's the largest type. It runs over the entire day, boss bar, timer, etc. So you can really just copy and paste one of these and then edit it to your liking. Um, and you could just change this, make it longer, shorter, change the rewards, just change anything you wanted to make a cool new challenge. 
Then if we go into the config file, uh, do you want to enable tournaments, yes or no? Do you want to enable economy? And then enable fish bags, the teasers, the currency, all of that good stuff. And if we scroll down, you've got the allowed worlds, the different rarities based on the weight, and then the color code associated with them. Then we have different areas like cold, temperate, and it's you know snowy plains, etc. All the different biomes, and then that will tie into the fish down here. You can see cod will only appear in cold, and then lungfish will be dry. So depending on the biome you're in, you will get a different fish, and then you've got the minimax size, the base price, and all of that good stuff. Speaking of which, if we go in game, you can do four slash bf sell and that will sell the fish you're currently holding. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.15 to 1.19. There's a useful wiki, and you can scroll down and have a look at all the stuff here. There's the small bag of fish that we used. And then here are the signs that we showed you how to do. And then you can look at the commands and permissions as well. Now, one cool thing is you can actually download a resource pack for fishing and this should change all the fish um, and it also changes the bag as well however mine is not showing all the different fish types for some reason not sure why but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time <laughs>